Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a best of three set against Carson Comfort, the seniors VGC World Champion. Wolfie and I did a fun best of three, and you can find game two on my channel, the first game on his channel, but, you know, I am still a little bit busy with school. It's, it was just the first week, so I was basically getting acclimated to my schedule, figuring out what classes I'm taking and which ones I'm not going to be taking, and so it's been a really busy time. I'm really sorry for the inconsistent uploads, but uh, we'll try to get more stuff out. Basically, I'm planning on maybe spending a day a week now uh, just pre-recording videos for the rest of the week so uh, right now my plan is just to do some best of threes against top performing players at worlds but of course sun and moon is coming up shortly so once sun and moon comes out i'm gonna really figure out a standardized schedule so bear with me but hope you guys don't mind and thank you for supporting me continuously and hopefully you guys enjoy the content uh, that i will be able to put out so thanks for supporting me and this should be a really really fun best of three it's against a world champion obviously uh, you know the seniors division i think doesn't get as much love as it really deserves and the top players are always players that are really really good easily able to hold themselves against masters and we've seen so many seniors move up to masters and do so well I mean if you just look at the 2012 world champion Toler Webb and the 2013 world champion Hayden McTavish have both aged up to masters and performed phenomenally well so uh, I'm really excited to see what Carson can do in masters and really excited for this best of three against him so we're gonna be getting into this I think I'm gonna separate it into multiple videos just so you guys have some more content throughout the days hopefully you enjoyed this and if you do give Carson a follow on Twitter it's linked in the description below and also show the video some love by leaving a like anyway so Carson's going to be using the dual primal team that of course he won the world championships with Kyogre, Kangaskhan, Groudon, Cresselia, Bronzong, and Thunderous. I decided I'd actually be using my dual primal team as well. Uh, you know, Poke Alex's uh, original version. I do have Weavile over Smeargle on it just because I think Smeargle at this point is a little bit weaker. Uh, and I think Weavile is just really strong because of all the Cresselia Bronzong running around. And of course Carson does have that combination. So I think dual primal matchups are actually really, really skill based. And a lot of it is momentum switching and how well you can manage your board position. So I really Really excited to see how Carson faces this one. Uh, I, was, I think Carson was one of those, uh, definitely one of those underdog seniors who maybe players didn't expect to win and kind of came out of nowhere and just dominated the competition. I was really impressed by his play in the finals in the seniors division and I was just super cool. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I think it's going to be a fun set. I do think that Weavile is a big, big deal here, but of course it's super weak to Kangaskhan, so it's going to have to avoid that. But Thunderous is a major concern as well. You'd imagine the combination of Kangaskhan and Thunderous is a little bit concerning. So let's see what I want to lead with here. I actually really like Groudon as a lead because I think it threatens his whole team a lot with Weavile. Of course, another thing we have to figure out is what speed control he's got. You know, whether he's only got Trick Room on Cresselia or Icy Wind as well, or maybe even a Thunder Wave. Um, and of course, Gravity is always something as well. And then I have to ask, do I want to bring my own Bronze on? So I'm going to go with Weavile and Groudon as my leads. Uh, and I think I want to bring my own Kyogre here. I'm going to bring both my Primals just to test the waters. Uh, and I think Salamence for Intimidate's a big deal, especially against Kangaskhan and Groudon. So, gonna lock in, and we are gonna get into this best of three. Really excited for this one. Good luck to Carson, and congrats to him, of course, once again for winning the World Championships. I think every year there are, you know, players who are favorited to win the entire tournament, and seniors had so many dominant players throughout the year, but in the end it was Carson who was able to take home the title. So, we see the Kangaskhan Thunderous League against Weavile and Groudon, and I think this definitely favors me a little bit more. Um, of course, you gotta wonder, you know, Kangaskhan does get access to Inner Focus, so uh, what I want to do here is just take out Kangaskhan and go for an attack with Groudon. But, have to be scared of the Inner Focus on Kangaskhan. If I do fake out Kangaskhan and Inner Focus comes to play, then, you know, I just kind of waste the turn of fake out. Uh, this is where I wish I had Eruption as well. I definitely want to knock out Thunderous more than anything, though. Um, I could Ice Go Crash the Thunderous slot. And just Rock Slide. Rock Slide would be an okay option. Um, basically, the reason why Thunderous is such an issue is because it's able to spread Paralysis. That's really bad against Salamence, uh, namely. So, I could just Rock Slide Ice Go Crash. Um, I think if you're him, you could also just go straight for like a Power Up Punch or a Low Kick onto Weavile. I know he ran Power Up Punch, which was super concerning. So, do I want to risk, risk fake outing the Kangaskhan? That's really the question. Uh, I suppose I could fake out Kangaskhan, um, Fire Punch. I'm just really scared of the Power Up Punch coming out. And I feel like it, it must be so tempting to do that against the Weavile, so maybe I'll uh, fake out in Fire Punch. So risky, but what is Thunderous really able to do? I could Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt, so I'm going to go for it. Oh, but he actually switches out. Let's see if it's Kyogre coming in. Good switch. 
Uh, so I could have pressed this bladed there, didn't want to risk it, figured King is gone might stay in, so Ice Cold Crash there definitely would have been the play, and uh, Carson puts himself into a really, really good position. That's why Dual Primals is all about kind of uh, conserving your position and getting yourself into the best possible uh, place. Uh, so really regretting not Ice Cold Crashing here. I also don't know how fast this Kyogre is relative to my Groudon, which is important information. Um, so Fake Out Rock Slide there also would have worked out. Uh, we are going to see Thunder Wave come out. Yep, good play. And this puts me in a really tricky position, because now you can just go for... Uh, Thunderbolt and a water type attack next turn, especially because Fire Punch does absolutely nothing. So that's a risk that I took. It didn't work out too well in my favor. Uh, here, definitely going to want to switch out into Kyogre. And I think I might just have to sacrifice the Weavile, but in the off chance that uh, he doesn't double up on Weavile, I can get an Ice Cold Crash against Thunderous. But really good play by Carson, because Carson identified that Weavile was a major threat to his team, and he was able to shut it down immediately, so really well played there. Um, you know, since this is the best of three, I'm not going to mind losing the first game, but I do want to get as much information out as possible. Uh, I think figuring out the primal speed matchup is probably the biggest issue here. Um, but Carson played that first turn really, really well. We do see Thunderbolt come out. It actually targets down the Kyogre slot, so predicting the Kyogre switch in does a lot of damage, and it's actually Life Orb Thunderous. I actually didn't remember what set he ran at Worlds. Uh, so Kyogre here is going to get a full powered water spell off as well. It's going to be able to knock out. Ooh, no. Uh, actually, hang on with one HP. But can uh, can I get the Ice Go Crash off here? I really need it. It does fortunately connect. Uh, it is going to be able to knock out the Thunderous. So, uh, you know, try to double up on that slot. Doesn't work out. And I am able to knock out Thunderous, which is actually really good news for me, given that I've got the Salamence in the back. Um, so this game still isn't over by any means. But you'd imagine if I just played better that first turn by going for like a fake out Rock Slide or a fake out Ice Go Crash. Excuse me, I can't do both of those, but uh, yeah, definitely going to play that first turn a little bit better, but that's okay. Scradon's going to come in. Okay. So this is tricky because I don't know how fast my Groudon is relative to his Pokemon, and I feel like he's going to be faster because I'm not very invested, and that's a concern. But at least I come out a little bit more positive than the last turn. And Kyogre obviously can't use Water type in X, or either of our Kyogres, um, so I'll just go for an Ice Beam. Do I want to switch out, actually? Probably not. I don't want to risk taking Impressive's Blades. So I'm just going to go for a Feint to get some chip damage. Um, I guess I'll target down Groudon here. If Kyogre switches out, that's actually promising, question mark. Especially if uh, Groudon protects her, actually. But I'd assume he's not going to protect. I do get fully paralyzed, but let's see. Uh, he does have Rock Slide and he's faster, so that's good to confirm. So this is interesting because I get Salamence and Groudon at the same time, and I do have the Tailwind option as well, which actually might be the play at this point in the game. Uh, the other issue is, however, that there is the Kyogre in the back. So the Intimidate here is a big deal, and I like my board position, but the self power up punch is also a play that could very well happen. Uh, so this has been a really fast paced game so far, but kind of the nature once again of these sets. So do I get the Intimidate off? Uh, which is super helpful against both of these Pokemon. But now, you gotta ask, what's he gonna do? Um, he could just fake out and press his Blades. That would be really bad. I really want to press his Blades here in Tailwind. Especially because he himself power up punch himself as well, and that's really bad. I'm gonna go for it. I think it's so risky to fake out and press his Blades, but he, I think he's going for it. Oh boy. Uh, if he fakes out immense impressive Blades crowd on, that's fine. This is gonna be so close. Um, I really, yeah, I think this is the game deciding turn. So no switch out's already bad. Like, if he switches out there, I think I'd just win the game. So he realizes that fact. But does he target down my Kings or my Groudon? Fake out comes out. Into Salamence. Okay. That's good. That's very good. So I flinch. He's faster. Okay, that's fine. As long as he doesn't crit me here, I'm good. Nice. Wow, Groudon takes that really well, actually. Precipice Blades does double connect. That's huge, too. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Um, so I still have to make an important decision here, though. Uh, I could just Hyper Voice. Do I just want to Hyper Voice? Because mm, I really want to Tailwind. I mean, I could protect Tailwind. I protect Tailwind. Because then, the only risk is he doubles up onto Ments. But I don't think he can knock me out. Although he does have Rock Slide. Um, 
what are my options here right now? Let's see. So if I Precipice Blades, you know, he's faster than me. That also could be a damage roll, so I don't want to risk that. He could just Precipice Blades. Uh, if I Hyper Voice, I can pick up a double knockout. But then it's Kyogre against slower Groudon and Men's. Two double edges would knock him out. I wish I had Substitute here right now. Can he knock me out? I think Protect Tailwind's safer. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just press this voice, Hyper Voice. Oh, he actually protects Kangaskhan. I did not know he had Protect. Oh, yeah, I definitely should have Tailwinded there then. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh, huh, really interesting. Did he even reveal fake out? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he did. He faked that. So he's fake out and protect. Yeah, so tailwind protect there would have been the play. Um, I don't know. I was just really scared of him either. Because if he if he knocks out Solomon's, then it's three on one. I don't think Radon has enough firepower at that point. Um... I wonder if a Hyper Voice can knock out Kangaskhan. Because here at this point, I don't want to Tailwind. I just want to press this Blades. I feel like Hyper Voice should knock out Kang. He doesn't have Sucker Punch, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm going to go Hyper Voice, press this Blades. Because Kyogre here has to... It can only knock out one of my two Pokemon, so you either use your Water-type attack or you knock out Salamence. Uh, so if you Ice Beam, then I get the single target press this Blades, which I'm hoping would knock out Kyogre after the Hyper Voice damage, since it's single target as well. Um, although I am banking off Kangaskhan getting knocked out here as well. Protect Tailwind doesn't help me much, depending on what move Kyogre goes for. So I should have Protect Tailwind the last one, I guess. Um, but I was just afraid that the Return or, uh, and the Rock Slide combo would knock out. I don't think it would, but you know one crit uh, can also screw you over. Uh, but Protect and Fake Out Kangaskhan is really interesting. I was actually trying that out. No Protects coming out here. Here's the Hyper Voice, and it knocked out Kang. Double Edge is Groudon, though. Okay. So he actually knocks him out, himself out from Recoil. What does Kyogre go for here? Does he go for a Water-type attack? Or does he Ice Beam? He Ice Beams into Mence. Okay, so. Single target press was blades against his Kyogre. Can it knock it out? Do I hit? Okay, I connect. Ho, ho. That was a doozy, uh, really close game there. Um, so I'm able to win this first game. I definitely have the advantage in this dual primal matchup, but Carson played that really well, I think. Um, and I definitely was kicking myself for not going for the tailwind play there, but really, really nice plays there by Carson. Uh, and I thought, you know, that first turn just looked so bad for me, but because I was able to get that icicle crash off, I thought that was really the... Uh, well, uh, probably what gave me just such a huge advantage there, because once Thunderous goes down, Solomon's has a really good time against his entire team. Um, and so I was able to kind of win off that, I feel like. But that first turn shows, you know, why Carson's a really good player and why he's a world champion. Uh, that's going to be the end of game one. Please leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Go check out Carson's Twitter linked in the description below, and we'll be back with game two tomorrow.